actually found it when she was 11. It was a Ewing sarcoma. She didn't want it to define her. She didn't want to be the kid with cancer. Chemotherapy is a destructive approach. Cancer is evolving, it's smart, it's, it's colonies, it's not one type of cell, it's very collaborative. You have to kind of outwit it, and the best way to outwit it is just kill anything that's dividing. Your own immune system, your own biology, your own genomes, the way that your, your whole physical being works is unique. And the way that cancer works against you is unique in that scenario. Cancer is personal, and, and this treatment's going to be personal. That's the biggest thing, is it's personalized medicine. It's really becoming more exact than understanding that it's just not a shotgun approach anymore. Time is precious in these treatments. If we could eradicate the cancer faster, it's better. And that's, that's the thing, the faster is always better. And the doctors are doing their best, but they're always saying that wasn't fast enough, that wasn't exact enough, that wasn't precise enough. Whatever we tried didn't work and we didn't have the time to figure out what would work. The time horizon is being abbreviated where we can do things quickly, um, sequence the genome, take a look at it, get information about what works from patients. You take the tumor from a person, you put it in a mouse, and, and you, you do the experimentation on the mouse rather than the person, you know, and gain the information and knowledge about what works. It's gonna be fast tracking the whole process and getting, becoming more exact and more precise. That kind of research is exactly the type of work that will lead to cures for children like Kelsey. All the science is so that the next kid who comes in can be helped and that they can help that person go out and, and live a, a full life. Kelsey just, she didn't want to go. And she gave us such joy all through a challenge. You know, I remember the last day in the sunshine in Princeton and just how much fun it was to be alive and to share with each other and to spend an afternoon. And that's what we want the science to do, is we wanted to give us another sunny afternoon in Princeton.